with actor Max Martini in Chicago. We just finished our cover photo shoot for the magazine and we're uh, looking forward to really checking our shots out. They really came out good. Uh, Gregory James worked Max really hard, so uh, definitely gonna, definitely gonna- It was it, exhausting. It was exhausting. <laughs> and we're starting. So we're gonna have just do a couple reps and then hold it. That's it right there, good. Since you're a teenager in the gym and cardio and sports, you know, like I mean, I, I started training in high school. You know, I started, I played, uh, I played high school football, and uh, you know, we, I mean, there were times we were doing two a days, and uh, and we I started lifting then, and then you know, when I got into acting uh, is when I really started concentrating on my diet, and my and my my, uh, my training regimen, and and, uh, and fine tuning it, mm -hmm. tweaking it a little bit. Now you're originally born in New York, but you were raised in California. Yeah, I was born in New York. My father was born in Rome. My mother's from Texas, so I had this weird kind of uh, yeah. Uh, hence, I have you know, thank God my accent stayed somewhat neutral. But uh, but uh, but I grew up. I went to I went to high school in Texas and in California, and uh, and then I, I eventually went back to New York, went to college, and and uh, stayed in New York for a long time. And uh, interesting story uh, that I read about online, and we discussed it before while we had break in the shoot, is that you actually had a chance to almost go for a tryout as a place kicker with the Seattle Seahawks who just won the Super Bowl right. uh, me a few weeks ago. Let's right. us a little bit on that one. Yeah, this is the, it comes up every now and again. You know, I, when, when I was in high school, uh, I started off as a linebacker, and uh, our kicker fell out. Now this is what high school. This is uh, Santa Monica High School. I started out in Texas and I ended up in Santa Monica. And uh, and the coach was like, "Hey, Martini, get over here, you know, and see you kick this ball." And I booted it, and uh, everybody went, "Hey, all right, well, we got a kicker, you know." And so I kicked for the team. Uh, I competed in some state championships and won. And uh, and at the time, uh, I had a connection to uh, the Seahawks general manager, and you know, and he said, "Hey, man, come on, you know, we'll we'll, we'll try you out." And so uh, I ended up, I was in Brooklyn. I was on a, uh, a building rooftop kicking into a net and, uh, and I pulled my hamstring and, and it's a long, you know, it's a, it's a quite an injury. So, uh, mm -hmm. so yeah, so that put a, a, a nix to that. And then, uh, and then I started acting. What year was that? I graduated, let's see. So I graduated in 86. So this must've been uh, maybe 87, right out of, okay. out of high school. So now, almost a freak injury where it looked like a bad break kind of turned into a good break for you because now you, like you said, you were doing some acting. Before that, you had a passion for it. But now, because you weren't pursuing the athletics because of the hamstring tear, you pursued acting more seriously. So yeah, it's interesting. things felt right for you, even at the time, they probably looking bad like that. Yeah, I know. I mean, I like uh, my coach at Samo had said, at Santa Monica High School had said, you know, there was some, like UT had, had expressed some interest in me. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and so, you know, I had my, my eyes on, uh, on football and, uh, and of course the injury, you know, put a stop to it. And, and, uh, and, and I got asked to audition for this movie when I was living in New York. Uh, they flew me out. I put a little audition tape together. I sent it to Hollywood. They flew me out and, uh, I met with Jody Foster and Robert Zemeckis and I got this part in this movie called Contact, which for anybody who knows my work, it's a complete 180 to what I do now, but uh, I played like a nerdy scientist in her, uh, in her lab, uh, long hair and Hawaiian shirts and stuff. Nope, that doesn't look good. That didn't look good, dude. Yo! Give me the teeth. Here we go. Got it. You know, and then the acting took off. So, so I started working as an actor. I eventually went back to college, and and uh, but I just kept pursuing the acting, and here we are. You know, it's uh, mm -hmm. it's been a good thing for me. So yeah, it, it turned out all right. Obviously, everybody uh, you know knows that you were in a lot of these big movies, Saving Private Ryan, Captain Phillips, uh, Pacific Rim, 
Sabotage with also starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and the you're filming now Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm -hmm. So I mean, these are some big name movies. You're working with top actors. It's got to really kind of be a little bit of a trip, right? Working with all these great people in such fantastic films. It's it's uh, I I, I have to pinch myself every morning I get out of bed. I mean, it's it's amazing, and and I've been very fortunate to be a working actor for a while. I was I've been in TV land for a long time. My goal was always to kind of get back into films, and, and yeah, Saving Private Ryan started me off, and um, and and right now I've got this great window into the the future world. So I'm mm -hmm. doing all these films. I had Pacific Rim come out. We got hopefully some sequels coming up with that, and and, and Fifty Shades of Grey has sequels to sure. it. So mm -hmm. I'll be uh, I should be okay for a little bit. One more time. Chest up, chest up, chest up. Perfect. Good. Yeah, I feel those. Yeah, man. Way better. That's better, right there. That's yeah, the show. that's the show right there. It is. And the roles that you've been playing is kind of like an action type of role. Soldiers and sabotage. You were part of the, uh, the task force that was on the, the uh, you know law enforcement task force. And Fifty Shades of Grey, you play bodyguard, so you're kind of playing a lot of like rugged, physical type of roles. Um, obviously, though, if you're being in good shape your whole life and staying in shape had to have a lot to do with that, right? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, like I said, I, you know, I've, I've been athletic my whole life, and and I think uh, Private Ryan definitely started me, you know, getting these kind of military-based roles mm -hmm. and and. Uh, but but yeah, my physique. I mean, I you know I stay in shape. I, I this is going to be me whether I'm an actor or not. Yeah. But because I happen to be uh, in relatively decent condition, you know, I get I get like you know the soldiers, the cops, a lot of action guys, you know, and and uh, and I love it. I love I love those roles. So it works. Do you find being in shape? Is, makes it easier to play these type of roles because that's kind of taxing. Let's put it this way: if I wasn't in shape, I wouldn't be playing these roles. <laughs> <laughs> A find the time to, to eat right, to find gyms where you are. I mean, obviously in this hotel we had today, we had a good gym, but that's not always the case. Right. So generally when I'm in, in uh, when I'm at home, uh, I have a trainer and he, uh, so we have our, we meet about five, six days a week. We train every day, uh, take a day off. And when I'm on location, the first thing that I do is I look for a gym. So, you know, if, if uh, if I'm going to Vancouver, I'm gonna you know search out where the best bodybuilding gyms are, weightlifting gyms are, and I'll get a hotel near the gym. Uh, so it really kind of stays. If I if I step off the track for too long, it's really tough for me to get back on. So and I'm sure that's the case for a lot of people. So uh, I, I have to stay fairly disciplined about it. And, and uh, yeah, and I, you know, so it's gym, grocery store, hotel. Those are my priorities. So you're actually doing research before you go to the location. You know where you're going to go work out. You know where you're going to stay. Yeah. Because you three places are not just flying up the seat of your pants, landing there and start looking. Right. I don't, you I know don't, I don't wait. I do the minute I get the job, I'm online and, I, and I'm feeling everything out. Now you mentioned, uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the training, but the diet is also obviously a huge part of it. Uh, then we know that we had broke for lunch today and you went upstairs, you had three made meals up there that right. you stayed with. And you just mentioned to go to the grocery store. So give us a little insight. What does your diet look like? Well, you know, we're very, actors are, are extremely fortunate because when I get to work, they're serving breakfast, you know, and we've got caterers that, you know, if you say, hey, I need a plate of egg whites, one yolk, 
you know, <laughs> little to no grease, yeah. you know, like no bread, no hold everything, you know, and they'll, they'll make it for you. So when I'm working, it's easy. Uh, when I'm at home, uh, you know, I get all my carbs in before noon ish and, uh, and uh, I, I ate a lot of protein, man. I ate very clean, uh, ate a lot of vegetables, uh, steamed. I ate a lot of salads, uh, you know, and uh, it's really, I mean, it's just clean eating. It's smart eating. Um, and, and I don't load up on carbs before I go to bed. Turn Yeah, so I have, I eat about every two and a half, three hours, which for a long time was a, a pain in the ass, and now it's uh, a no. On the set, yeah. how do you, sometimes you're shooting for more than that, how do you, do you have to sometimes skip a meal? Then yeah, so thing? like for this thing, you know, I did some, <laughs> uh, I did some carb depleting, and then I did some carb loading in the last couple of days, but I was going to work with a backpack full of sweet potatoes. I mean, I, you know, I just make it, I make it happen. And what kind of you sell a lot of protein? So obviously a lot of chicken. Let, lots of chicken. Uh, I ate a lot of turkey. Uh, you know, I ate a lot of lean meat. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of fish. Sushi. Yeah, okay. I love. As far as carbs, normally, and I know for the shoot, your you diet changed a little yeah. bit. Uh, Eric put you on a little bit of a different yeah. diet. But just on your normal day to day, you eat a lot of carbs, like good carbs, or do yeah. you stay away from them? No, I, I mean, I, I have oatmeal in the morning, uh, nothing on it, just basic oatmeal. And then, uh, you know, I'll eat rice every now and again. I'll eat, uh, you know, beans. I eat, uh, but, you know, like I said, just clean. Clean stuff. Yeah. As far as training, um, how many days a week do you hit the gym? And when I'm at home, I'm in about six days a week. And then when I'm on, when I'm on location, you know, it's whenever I can get down. I mean, mm -hmm. sometimes I get down at 10 p.m., you know, I get off late. Yeah, just trying to get a little lifting in, and then I go back up and go to bed. But. Let's look at your normal schedule, uh, abnormal probably, I guess it is, because you're probably not home that often, mm -hmm. but if you do do that six-day routine, walk me through it. Uh, you know, biceps, triceps, uh, you know, we may, like calves, we'll throw in, uh, we'll do chest, uh, and some, maybe like a big chest day, a little back, throw in, you know, another leg or abs or something, uh, you know, it's uh, it's not really. I mean, we really don't have it. We don't really have it mapped out. But but you know, and and I'm I'm just an actor. I just follow this. Thing. <laughs> yeah, like, well, what are we doing today, boy? And show it a little bit more. There we go. Excellent. Good, good. Pop up that shoulder more. That's for the back. Right there. Good. That's it. Nice. Relax your face more. Yeah, man. That's it. Good. Relax your face. Let's do this and then look right at me. Here we go. Go. Nice. I like that. Perfect. Nice. Good. Triceps. Boom. Yeah. And, um, as far as cardio, what kind of cardio? Do you so, cardio, do? you know. Uh, I, I boxed for a long time. Uh, I started boxing at the Wild Card Boxing Club in, in Los Angeles. I moved to uh, Justin Fortune's gym in LA, and uh, and so I, you know I tried to get in, and now I'm 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 boxing uh, out of Eric's gym uh, with my trainer Jesse. So you know I get in. I mean at least once a week and, and move around. I'll spar. Uh, it's something that I love, and 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 I think. Maybe missed a little bit of a calling there too. I think I could have taken that route, you know. And, and I love to fight, so. Uh, but yeah, that's my cardio for the most part. You do boxing? Yeah, boxing. Box. Yeah, so yeah. you don't do the tr traditional treadmill, stand mask, things no, like that. No, no. I'll get on the bag. I'll do some speed bag. I'll do some heavy bag, and uh, and then a lot of mitt work, and then I'll spar. 
Up tight. Nice. More trip on the side a little bit more. Yes, right there. Oh, don't move. Nope. Up right there. Abs are good. Look right at me. Good. Start with abs again. Yes, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. That's the shot. Through his chest. Yeah. As soon as he said, don't move, he went, oh, I can have one. Right there. <laughs> That's it. Nice. I like it. That's it. Yeah. Nice. All right, I think we got that, man. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Because your face yeah. is right on. You okay with that? <laughs> Max Martini here. Be sure to look for me on the May cover of Fitness RX for Men and the upcoming episode of Extreme Radio.